Okay, so in this video, we are going to tackle our twisted stitch. Um, I guess you call it twisted tenetion. And all stitches can be found at farmontheprairie.com. Just click the edu education tab and look for the tenetion crochet. And it'll bring up a page with all of them in order from the class, okay? So, this one is one that isn't gotten to a lot in class, especially if we are limited. Um, those that have come to the farm to learn it, um, this tutorial, I guess, is for you. So, we have our 10 cast on. Um, and I'm struggling to keep this in range, so I apologize in advance. This is going to be a thick stitch, so it's going to roll like the... Um, knit stitch does okay so I'm gonna try and keep it down I'll show you the important parts that you need to see so that you can break down your own crochet swatch or learning piece so I have foundation cast on there is another video to that on the page you can look all of these up on YouTube they're on a playlist they're on the page they're everywhere so um the first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna learn to manipulate this hook right here there is in Tunisian, as we know, there is a front pole to every stitch and there is a back pole to every stitch. So when you turn it over, here's your back pole, here's your front pole and they're not the same. You can actually see because we put the, the um, hook through there sometimes. So you're going to take and on this stitch it's actually twisted. So you're going to pull this over, pull the front pole over to the right of that back pole. See that back pole right there? And then you put the hook through. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Alright. Now I do have a couple of things. You have to watch your tension on this. If it gets too tight it becomes too hard to manipulate that stitch to pull it over and put it through. Okay. I'm not real good at doing this really slow so if I have to redo them I apologize in advance. Now I am going to show you two tricks that my granny taught me when I was learning to do this. Alright? She would take her middle finger and her thumb and she'd pinch that back pole off for me when I was learning. So I've got my middle finger on the back pole and then I take my thumb, this thumb, and put it through here and just pinch around that back pole so that when I scooped I only got the front pole and didn't split the yarn. Then put it through, yarn over, and draw up a loop. And I actually learned to manipulate it better with my hands. So if I'm having a tough time, and especially if your tension is off, this is one of those that you can manipulate like this until you learn to just reach up, pull it over, and twist your hook kind of up and through there. Oh, see, I just split the yarn. That's not good because it will show in this. Don't split the yarn in this one. Or, you know, some of them you can get by with it this now I'll show you how to tell if you're doing it right see this pole here it goes to the right of the back pole so you can see the back pole right there and the front pole right there and your stitch comes up through it so when you hit that end as long as all your stitches are slanting to the right you've done it correctly all right <clears throat> the ending on this one is the same as every other find your V Put your hook through, yarn over, draw up a loop, chain one to bring it up to height, and then back it off like every other um, stitch. So remember, your backwards pass is always the same on these. And there we go, like a little typewriter. And that is the twisted stitch. And you don't even have to wait for rows and rows on this one. You can see them twisted all the way back through. Alright, the hardest part is manipulating this to pull over and it really, once you learn to do it, it's pretty easy. Alright, whoop, drop my stitch. Don't drop your stitch. But if your tension is too tight is when you'll have trouble and like I said, just pinch that off, pull this over and then I can manipulate the tip of the hook too. So you just have to figure out what works for you. Okay, so there you have it, the twisted stitch. Just keep practicing. This is one of those, sorry, I had to get me some more yarn. This is one of those that takes a little bit of practice. Um, and it's, remember with Tunisian, it's all about where you put the hook and draw up the loop. And it's making texture. This is, 
if you use a really busy yarn, this is not going to show up. So we do suggest in, when you're doing Tunisian, um, just go ahead and use a solid um, yarn because if this was really busy, you wouldn't see the vertical holes. So, ooh, got the back one just a little tight here. All right, yarn over, pull up a loop. There you go. And then all I have left is my back pass. And again, you can see that they're all um, facing to the right. There you have it. You can check out the other stitches at farmontheprairie.com. Um, just click on the education tab and the Tunisian crochet. Or just simply go to YouTube and we have it there too. So it's all on a playlist and this one will be added to it. Next up, I think I'm going to do the honeycomb stitch. So I will see you next time. Enjoy.